This episode brought to you by Noble Gold. Check out this free coin offer for my viewers. Man, this year is whizzing by already, isn't it? You're a year closer to retirement, but are your savings a year closer? If you're not and you're worried you won't make it, get in touch with Noble Gold about putting precious metals in your IRA or 401k. You won't get hassled, they'll just lay out your options. And this month, they're gifting a free 1 10th ounce solid gold American Eagle coin with any qualifying plan you start. So call 877-646-5347 or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. Or you can use the link in the description or pinned comment. Make sure you tell them Drone Tech sent you. <coughs> Welcome back. I'm Drone Tech. And today we're going to talk about yet another story that the left wing slash Democrat party media do not want you to know about. Remember a month ago yesterday when an Antifa member showed up to a rally in support of January 6th prisoners with bombs and who had the intention of killing or hurting people simply for having views that he disagrees with. It's pretty cut and dry. The guy even had an Antifa action list on him along with a pipe bomb and other explosives did you hear anything about it outside of alternative sources like this channel no! and the media who did cover it wrote headlines and stories that leave the reader thinking a right winger was behind the planned attack how can they talk about it for months they were predicting a right wing attack but it ended up being one of their own it doesn't fit the narrative thus it gets memory hold remember a few weeks before that when a black leftist with an extensive social media posting history showing his political beliefs and anti-white racism decided to run his car over a christmas parade now the media couldn't ignore that story it was just too big but what they did instead was simply play dumb and claim that they had no idea what this guy's political motivations could possibly be and of course no terrorism charges if they did that then the next question would be who radicalized this terrorist and we all know the answer to that there are other left-wing attacks stretching back years that we could talk about but for the sake of brevity i'm going to leave it there for now that brings us to the trucker freedom protest going on in canada right now where the media there and justin trudeau have repeatedly lied about the protest and demonized them as racist and terrorist sounds familiar right i know you're wondering about what you saw in our capital city this weekend freedom of expression assembly and association are cornerstones of democracy but nazi symbolism racist imagery and desecration of war memorials are not over the past few days canadians were shocked and frankly disgusted we are not intimidated this then led to what happened a few days ago, a man driving his car into a group of freedom protesters, thankfully not killing any of them. Unfortunately though, a familiar cover-up story is playing out with the media and the police calling this quote, a hit and run assault. At about 9, 10 p.m., Winnipeg police were advised of a motor vehicle collision near Broadway and Memorial Boulevard. The initial information was that a westbound Jeep Patriot had driven through a group of protesters that were part of the Freedom Convoy at the legislative grounds. As a result, a male from Headingley, Manitoba faces charges of assault with a weapon times four, dangerous operation of a conveyance caused bodily harm times two, dangerous operation of a conveyance, failed to stop after accident knowing that reckless, knowing that the driving was reckless times two, and failed to stop at the scene of an accident times two. Again, sounds familiar, right? So in case you haven't figured it out yet, the terrorist behind this attack turns out to be an Antifa chud. Not only that, but this guy is in several punk bands. I know, I know, it makes no sense. A punk rocker who tries to kill people on behalf of the establishment? According to now deleted but archived social media posts, he's pretty obviously a leftist who describes himself as part of all the typical groups and hates the same people the media hates. However, conveniently, the police had this to say about speaking with him after the arrest. Some comments made by the accused that suggest this was not specifically about the vaccine mandates and quote, wasn't for or against any of the general views that are floating around this country. So we're just supposed to believe that he randomly chose these people to run over. It's pretty clear to me that these people are just doing what they do in this country. They're trying to cover their own ass so they're not blamed for inciting it. The exact same thing happened in Dallas after a BLM activist ambushed and murdered five police, which happened at a BLM rally where they were calling for violence against the police. After this BLM terrorist was taken down, the police sergeant assured the media that he wasn't part of the BLM movement, despite being a black man at a BLM rally. 
How convenient. And just like that, the entire thing will be memory hold. With the exact same media continuing to insist that the real threat is their political opponents. All right, folks, that's all I have for this one. As always, if you enjoyed it, please help the algorithm along and hit that like button. You can also help by leaving a comment to let us all know what you think.